What's up guys, John here and welcome back to John Moon Studios. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about Articulation ID inside of Logic Pro X. So what Articulation ID is, is instead of writing, instead of writing the key switches, which is, uh, let's assume C1 is your long articulation and C sharp 2 is your short articulation, and having to draw them out with the pencil tool like this. What we do is we use articulation ID. So you can see right here on the side, if we open up the piano roll, again using P, that's the shortcut, you're going to see a little button here that says articulation and then sustain. So what it does is instead of drawing in key switches, it internally draws in the key switch as an articulation ID. So let's take a listen to this example alone without any articulation switches. So let's hear it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add some short notes or an articulation uh, that's going to allow the notes to be a little bit shorter, uh, a technique called spiccato. So I'm going to highlight these go to articulation and then go to where it says spiccato. So now these notes are going to be articulated different from these four long notes. So now let's take a listen to the example. All right. So this is Logic's uh, sample. So if you open up the library here, this is actually Logic Studio Strings Violin 1. They already come uh, with the articulation set so you don't need to do any of the uh, articulation ID setup on these uh, samples because logic already has them in it now let's say we're using third-party libraries for example I have here the east-west quantum leap um, library for the strings so I'm gonna go ahead and open the violin one and I'm gonna go ahead and, and choose key switch and load this patch up so once I load this patch up, you're going to see that I have the white keys, which are available to play. And then below we have the key switches that come inside of um, the East West Quantum Leap library. So what we're going to do is instead of, again, drawing it into the piano roll and clicking, you know, E0, C0, what we're going to do is we're going to use the articulation ID. Now let me show you how to set this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and and close this for now. We're going to open up the piano roll again and notice how here the little articulation ID box doesn't show up. That's because it's not set up yet. In order for this to show up we need to open up the piano roll where the notes exist and then where it says track here we're going to bring that menu down and notice how here it says articulation set. We're going to go ahead and click that and click new. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to map this so that way logic can understand uh, where the articulations are going how they're going to work and how the routing is going to work internally so you don't have to draw out those key switches so what we're going to do is i'm only going to do two articulations i'm going to do a long so i'm going to go ahead and call this long and then i'm going to do a short articulation so i'm going to call this short now their articulation ID uh, one and two, depending on how many you have, is going to be three, four, five. You don't need to worry about that. But now the channel, the channel, you need to go ahead and put the channel in which your MIDI uh, is going through. So I'm going to put these both on one because if I open this library, you're going to see that my MIDI channel is Omni, which means all channels, or I could simply just put one. Uh, but I'm going to leave it in Omni for now. So we're going to go back into the articulation ID. And now this is all set up. Now what we do is we can go to Output. And now what you're going to do is you're going to click here and put Note On for both. Now what this means is that as soon as the note is being, uh, the cursor hits the note here, it's going to automatically switch the articulation. So we're going to go to channel again. The channel for the MIDI is 1. So the selector is where you're going to go back into the sample library. And you're going to see where these key switches are actually written. So we see that the sustained long is on C0. 
and then I want to do a detach um, articulation. So I'm going to go ahead and use the D sharp zero articulation. We're going to go back into articulation set. And the longs were on C0. And then the shorts were on D sharp 0. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set it up. Now, as you can see, we're editing this. But now the articulation box appears inside of the piano roll. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just minimize this. And we're going to go here to our uh, four notes. Actually, let's take a listen to it before and then after. So here's it without the articulation. Now we're going to go ahead and you're going to see that long and short appears. Now we're going to go ahead and press it and now let's listen. Right, you can hear that it sounds a little bit more detached. Now let's see if it's actually working. So we're going to go ahead and open the sample library and take pay attention to this blue section here. You're going to see that it's going to go from C sharp 0, I'm sorry, from C0 to D sharp zero. Let's take a listen. Okay, so that is how we set up the articulation ID for third party libraries. So now we're going to do it one more time just to make sure that we get it. I'm going to use a cello sample. So I'm going to go into my browser, get a cello sample, key switch, open it up, and now we're going to just look at these key switches. That way we could just do it right away. So it's long on C0, and then we're going to do the detached on the D sharp 0. So again, same process. We're going to open up the piano roll. Let's take a listen to it. Got to solo the track. Okay. Let's take a listen to it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add these articulations. So again, open up the track menu here. You're going to do articulation set, and then you're going to hit new. Now what you do is you're going to add these two articulations. So you're going to put long. And again, you could put as many as you want. It doesn't just have to be these two. I'm just doing this for the video to keep the video uh, nice and short. So again, put channel one because I have it on Omni, so it means all channels. But if you have, uh, you know, different uh, MIDI devices and you have different channels, you would want to put it with the channel that your sample library is in. We're gonna go into the output and put type note on again. So when the cursor hits the note, it it switches. My channel is gonna be one, and then the selector for the long it was C zero. And for the short, it was D sharp zero. Now, as you can see, you can see the articulation set down here. So now when I go ahead and highlight these four, I could put short. And let's open up the library to make sure it's working. And now I'm going to go ahead and play it. And there it is. Now, to make sure that you can always have these articulations uh, saved in there you would want to go in here and then put save as and then here it would save as in the articulation settings you could put celli or cello let's put celli uh, key switches or id save and then now you're able to access this um, every time you open the articulation set, you're going to see you're going to have uh, the articulation right here. So these are logics, and then these are the ones that you've made custom to your sample libraries. If you found the information of this video helpful, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my weekly videos. If you have any questions throughout the video, please drop your comments down below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Don't forget to share with your musician friends. I will see you all soon.